and Ba. Ancient Egyptians were habitually preoccupied by the prospect of life after death, their journey through the hazardous underworld, and the eternal afterlife, paradise. They believed that everyone had a soul that survived after death. That soul was composed of two parts, Ka, the physical soul, and Ba, the conscience and non-physical qualities that make up the personality. The Ka was represented as a second image of the individual with two upraised arms on his head. The Ka was believed to be a spiritual twin born with every man and lived on after he died. But it was restricted to staying in the tomb, inhabiting the body of the mummy, or even statues of the deceased. It was believed to be independent of the earthly body of man, and could move, eat, and drink at will. For this reason, food offerings were buried with the dead. The Ka needed that body after death. That's why Egyptians mummified their dead. If the body decomposed, the person's spiritual twin would die, and the deceased would lose their chance for eternal life. The Ba was represented by a man-headed hawk, often depicted hovering over the mummies of kings and commoners alike. The most important function of the Ba during a person's life was to guide each individual to follow conscience and virtuous behaviors, and to urge kindness, compassion, and honor. After death, the Ba made it possible for the deceased person to leave his tomb and rejoin his Ka, and then the Ka and Ba fly together into the next step of the person's journey in afterlife and the judgment in the whole of Ma'at. <laughs>